Good afternoon and welcome to a very special vlog. Now you might be thinking, where on earth am I? Well, it's a beautiful spring day as you can see. The sun's up there, it's directly on me. There's tulips. No, I have not gone to the Netherlands. I've not escaped France. I'm still in central France. And as I always say, see you somewhere in central France. Where am I? This is the gardens, the Chateau de Chauvigny. Beautiful central France castle here. It's absolutely amazing castle to come and visit known for the stories of Tintin and other things as well. This, they've got their dogs which are over that way from what I remember. It's a hunting lodge from what I remember. It's a beautiful, beautiful castle here. The owners kindly gave me the permission to come in and photograph the tulips. It's actually closed to the public right now which is such a shame because I know that people were able to come in over the Easter weekend which is coming up. They'd love all of this. It looks amazing. It really does. They do this every year though. So although you may not be able to come here this year, certainly plan to come here next year when all the tulips are out. Keep an eye on their website. I'm not sponsored by them, but they really do need a shout out, the Chateau de Chevigny. Let's show you what it is that I do. My thought process as to how I'm creating my photos and what it is that I'm doing, first of all. So I'm just going to take my GoPro, handheld, and then just give you an idea of what it is that's going through my head. Now, I did bring my gimbal with me, but I forgot it. It's in the car which is typical of me at times, I just forget to do things. But when I've arrived somewhere like this, now I was actually here this morning, the weather wasn't that great, it, although it was sunny, it's kind of a bit hazy. But what I did is I did a bit of a, let's say, recce. So I just walked up and down here, and I just thought, well, what can I do with it? So I got to this point here, and then just looked down the sort of aisle of, uh, of tulips there, and just thought, yep, yeah, I like the sweep of the tulips that's going around there, nice leading line. Ideally, what you would need to do is get kind of in the middle of the tulips. That's not going to happen. There's no way I'd be allowed to go in there. Um, I don't want to do that anyway. But basically, you'll see, if I just come round here with a camera, you'll see the sweep that's going back down there. For me, that's the first thing that caught my eye. The next thing that I did think about was if I get down low, for example, and then I look down the tulips there, could I get a, uh, either a tilt shift shot of all the tulips and having everything in focus from front to back. Um, will it or won't it work? Actually, I've already tried it before vlogging this and uh, it just was too much tilt, it didn't work. So it's either going to be a focus stack or um, what I'm gonna to have to do is basically just put it on uh, something like F16 to get everything sharp from front to back. Now, the nice thing is at the moment is it's polarizing up quite nice and um, I mean, it is looking really stunning at the moment. So what I'm gonna do is then Get, do show you the next thing that I would do when I first arrive on the scene and then you can get a bit of an idea of kind of again what goes through my head when I'm doing these types of things. The next thing that I do is put my camera bag on the floor, camera out, so I've got 5D Mark IV here, 2470. Why 2470? Why not straight away to a tilt shift lens? Because at least with a zoom lens what I can do is go right I've got 24 to 70. So it gives me a rough idea of the, the focal length that I might need in order to get the image that I want. So if it's 24, I've got 24 mil tilt shift, so it'll probably look a lot better. If it goes up to 35, put the 1.4 extender on, 50, get the 50 mil out. Beyond that, then maybe put the, the extender onto the 50 mil tilt shift. So, you know, we'll see. So if I just go down here, what I'll be doing is I'm thinking, well, head height. So if I'm zoomed out, 24 mil is too wide. It shows too much. Let's go in. Now there's a bin on my left hand side there. So if I, I zoom in a little bit, look at my zoom, it says 50 mil. So it's, to me, it says a 50 mil tilt shift. 35, going a bit wider, possibly. Could actually do that. That would actually look quite nice at 35. But then the problem is at 35 mil, what happens is the chateau actually becomes quite diminished in the final image. So I don't want that. I want the chateau to look as big and as bold and as beautiful as it is. One of the other things I do is I, you know, I'll be stood up, stood down, uh, kneeling down, just trying to see, can I get as close to those as I can? Maybe put the tripod just on top of the flowers so it's not interfering with the flowers, it's not crushing the flowers because obviously it's not my, my chateau. But uh, you have to think of all these different things. You have to be respectful. To, this is private property after all. But what I want to do is when I'm here, I want to do the castle justice because when I post this on social media, for example, on, on Instagram, I want people to look at it and go, wow, I'm going to go there. If I can get people at that, and if I can get you at wow, 
then I've got you. So that's the sort of next thing that I think about. So it's focal length, 50 mil. So I'm gonna put my 50 mil on and then take a shot. And then from there, I think, well, what else can I do with it? Can I go behind and then do a longer lens shot looking down there? Maybe do a focus stacking shot as well. So we'll have a look at that. The next thing that I thought about here is I put my tripod just ever so slightly on the edge of the tulips here. So you can see, for example, one of the things that I've got to think about in the background is they are basically taking care of the grounds. There's a tractor going across. I follow it with my finger. I should say probably kind of like that. And it's basically going across there. I have to keep an eye out for those distractions in the background. I have to make sure that I'm not destroying any tulips. I'm not, thankfully. And then I've got to think, is it a portrait orientation or is it landscape orientation? So if you can see on the back of the camera, you may be able to see on the back of the camera, we've got a third of tulips and then there's a grass, bit of grass there, and then there's the, the chateau there. And the problem is, there's this big tree here, this massive tree here. If that was a lot smaller, then actually I could do this composition here. I could actually get that as it is. I could basically show you a really nice, beautiful image of those tulips sweeping around there towards the castle. The sad thing is I can't do that because that tree's there. Now I know some people would say, well I, I'd cut off the tree and it's like, fine, cut off the tree is not really what I want. So what I'd then do is basically undo my camera very carefully, pull it out, if I can get it out, there we go, it's just that last little bit, it's going to come out, then turn it portrait orientation, So let's take the tilt shift lens around there, put it in portrait orientation. Then what you should be able to see is when I turn this round, now this is rough, remember it's just on the back of the camera, I've actually already got the shot I kind of really want. What I'm looking for at the moment is I've got this tree here, there's a, an Easter egg that's hanging down there. So one of the things is, is what I need to do is not make it so it's right on the edge, because I also don't want to cut off too much of this tree here which you can see with my finger there. Now what I'm going to do is I pull up this. What I want to do is I don't want that tree cut off. So it's probably something like there. It's just about the limit. Now it's been shifted up a little bit. So what I'd have to do is, I may have knocked the focus out, but I'll refocus the image and then take another shot of it. So on the front of the camera, there's a 1.4 extender and a 50 mil tilt shift, and it's on F16. Now I tried applying tilt to get everything from front to back sharp, but um, it didn't seem to be working, which is a little bit frustrating. But um, so I might either focus stack or just basically stop it down. But um, I might try both and see what happens. But it's looking beautiful again here with this nice sweep. And it, you can see the difference by actually just going into the flowers there, just going a little bit over and then losing the path. Yes, it's a nice lead in line, but it's not everything to the image, just filling the bottom of the frame there with the tulips. It makes it look really really nice and I'm really happy actually seeing it like that and finding the space in amongst the tulips to put my tripod down get it leveled off and then get a shot looking down here are there any other shops of the tulips apart from for example the tulips themselves I don't know I'll have a bit of a wander around The next thing that I've done as my camera wobbles and sorry for not having my gimbal so I've got my 100 to 400 on there this is, can be an excellent lens for getting in close to stuff and you might be thinking well surely you don't need to put on a 100 to 400 to photograph the castle and I actually want to go into the tulips there and just get the backlighting so there's a sun right up there as you can see side lighting me but I want the backlight actually on the tulips there just seeing if I can get something looking into all the tulips and just making it look really really nice. Now what I might do actually is take my white balance device and see if I can get a better white balance on it because it's kind of looking a bit interesting let's say with the auto white balance but um, yeah it's looking really really nice with the back lighting on all those tulips there and especially the red ones but they're being a pain with the white balance but um, let's have a look let's see what we can do with it. I'll flick up the shots in a minute so you can see what it is that I got with a long lens and back lighting on these tulips here.
Now one of the last techniques I want to do here with all these beautiful tulips, I've come a little bit further down, I can just see the, the chateau in the distance there, the chateau de Cheverny, going to do a little bit of intentional camera movement. So I've got my 100 to 400 on, I've set it on f32, not because I want huge amount of depth of field, I want to stop it down so I can get a very slowish shutter speed. And what I've been doing is basically focusing on the flowers down there and then basically got my image stabilization on, doesn't really matter, and then turning it and then hopefully, if I can turn it quick enough, like this, then what happens is you get something akin to that, which you may or may not be able to see. Well, there you go, a little bit of messing around, a little bit of intentional camera movement. Just adds a little bit, something extra, just something different. But let's wrap up so you've had a little bit of a, a look at what I would do here at the Chateau de Chiviani. So there you go, there's a, a very brief look as it were, or maybe it's about 10 minutes or so, of what I've done with this beautiful amount of tulips here, 250,000 tulips here at the Chateau de Chiverny. I'm very, very grateful to the Chateau for letting me come in to be able to do some photos and try to get the best out of it that I can. I had come this morning, it didn't work, come back again this afternoon, they were gracious enough to let me back in again. So I am really, really grateful to them for doing that. And uh, hopefully they'll like what it is that I've done and, and showing what it is that you could do here at the Chateau de Cheverny. Now, as I said, it is closed at the moment. So do you think that although you can't come right now with the tulips, they'll probably be gone by the time it can open again in, I guess, probably mid-May, that um, it'll be here next year. We'll be all free next year. So make a beeline for this place. Come, come here and come and photograph the tulips here at the Chateau. They are beautiful. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take it easy, folks. Stay safe out there. See you again on the next vlog sometime somewhere in central France. Goodbye.